probably Chorus. Um, Chorus is the monopoly broadband infrastructure of New Zealand. It owns 100% of the copper network and it'll own more than 80% of the brand new fibre network that's being rolled out. Um, Chorus is a pretty remarkable company. They're building one of the best fibre networks in the world. It'll be in the top five networks globally. And they've spent $6 billion over the past seven years and, and up until 2020 building this you know, truly world-class fibre network. What we think is pretty special about Chorus and why I'd be happy to hold it for five years is because if you buy it today, it's on a 6% dividend yield. And we think that dividend is going to grow much faster than the broader yield sector over that period, particularly once the fibre build finishes in around three years' time. So what we think is you've got a really high quality asset base, you've got a fantastic cash flow stream, and that's going to grow faster than other yield stocks. I guess the really nice thing about Chorus is we don't need to stress about how fast fibre adoption is in New Zealand. Essentially, Chorus, because they own the copper network and the fibre network, are largely ambivalent between whether someone signs up to ADSL or to fibre. Um, it's an unusual situation. Normally, you just have the one um, asset that you're trying to protect. These guys um, own both. And essentially, we think that given the quality of the fibre network, you're going to see Chorus offer much faster internet speeds than anything that we could um, appreciate in Australia. We're talking sort of 50 times the speeds of Australia. And with the potential to upgrade those speeds over time for very minimal cost. And we think that's a huge competitive advantage um, compared to other fibre companies globally. There's probably two main risks. Um, the first one is obviously interest rates. Um, to the extent that interest rates rise, it is an infrastructure stock that is you know, largely priced off yield. Um, in our portfolio, we found ways to hedge that in terms of shorting other companies that are yield stocks where we don't see those dividends growing anywhere near as fast. Um, the second risk is obviously regulatory. Um, they're going through a process at the moment where they're trying to finalise a regulatory framework for Chorus, which is, is likely to come through over the next year. Um, it does have bipartisan support. We would expect it to get passed. And I think that would provide um, a bit of, I guess, comfort for investors wanting a bit more certainty. I think the catalyst is not so much the legislation. I think the catalyst is more so the cash flow and the dividend growth that's likely to come through sort of two to three years out. Um, we don't think that there's an exciting story in Chorus in the next six months. It's not a stock that we're expecting sort of instant gratification. But on a five-year view, we're extremely comfortable with the outlook.